Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimera Dimensions reality update video, episode 2. And it's been like a day and a half since last episode, so it's enough to get most, but not all, of the achievements. You can see I have everything up to long lasting relationship. So this means I have like stuff like your antimatter doesn't reset on dimension boost or antimatter galaxies, and like dimensional sacrifice doesn't reset anything. Um, I don't quite have like, you know, banked infinities, stuff like this insane infinity point multiplier. Like that is actually insane for this point in the game. So it's things are going to be a lot faster because I can now dimension boost and well, it resets my stuff, but I keep my antimatter. So I barely reset anything. And not only that, I can act, uh, there's also apparently stuff in the automation tab, um, not the automator, just the, you know, the regular auto buyers. Um, looks like real, I missed this. Reality actually, um, makes it so that the, or not reality, but like the update made it so that to get the auto buyers, you actually don't even need to complete the challenges. You just need to complete them to upgrade the auto buyers. So... Yeah, as you can see, this is obviously ridiculously overpowered because I, I can just, you know, dimension boost at will and um, even antimatter galaxy at will. Like you're about to purchase an antimatter. Gal yeah, I, I understand it because the only thing that resets is my dimension boosts. Like I can just hold M. You don't even see how much antimatter I have, but yeah, holding M is literally enough. To just do everything I want. And I can even get this, which doesn't even reset anything. So I can just click it as much as I want. And some of my galaxies are also stronger. Maybe it'd be another achievement. I'm not really sure which one. But maybe this one is 1%. It's not that pow much powerful. Um, but, oh, tick speed is 5% faster per galaxy. So that's like, that's actually OP for this early in the game. Well, looks like we are about to big crunch and we are going to get 64 infinity points, four times from reality, four times from oh, which achievement is this? I, I know there's two achievements that are doing this. Um, um, this is, this is infinity power. Um, this is a four times multiplier and maybe let's see, not this one. Um, I, I know there's an achievement that does this probably has to do something with infinity but i can't even find it because there is so many okay now here it is here it is this one and this one so this means i can get so many infinity point upgrades like it's crazy so there's like a way to really just idle through everything i can actually get an infinity point multiplier which is interesting I'm gonna get all of these because why not? Like this is kind of overpowered. 51 because I got 250 infinities because of this achievement. The not not it, it's 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 no not this one. This this one this one. <laughs> oh my god, it's kind of crazy. I'm with the achievement rewards. It's like I'm mostly just it's it's like I'm just playing. It's Fair Dimensions AAU or all achievements unlocked. So, it looks like I have exactly as enough infinity points to get this upgrade. So, that's pretty nice. I mean, actually, I barely need to do anything. I All I need to do is just get the dimension boosts. And I'm good. I don't even need the galaxies. That's how overpowered this is. Like, I barely even need the dimension boosts. Like, I can do it with just two dimension boosts, I think. So I guess this is a good time to complete the challenges. They're going to be really easy. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, this is just so easy. Just press C to crunch. I don't need this message. I <laughs> I already know what's going to happen. So, yeah, it's just going to be like this. For, just press D to do the mention boost. Just M and D and C. That's all I need. Which also somehow happened to be the 
the last three Roman numerals or the highest value Roman numerals, which is interesting. So M D D C I I did too many there. That is fine. Maybe I I can start getting some of these, I guess. Um let's let's see. Challenges. Oh my god, I I gotta get used to this new UI. It's it's better, but I just gotta get used to it. Antimatter Galaxy, this challenge is just a complete joke. Um, let's see what other complete joke challenges there are. This one is uh, going to be another complete joke. And then 7 is a complete joke. Yeah, I think I just did it there. <laughs> um, or I didn't. Did I not do it? Oh, it, did, oh, it auto bought a galaxy, that's why. Um... Challenge six, I don't think, is very challenging. Yep, there. Wait, no, it keeps buying a galaxy because of the stupid auto galaxy auto buyer. Okay, there we go. Big crunch. And I'm not gonna do challenge nine because that's that's the hardest one. Challenge twelve. That this one's not bad. I um okay, I actually need to, to get somewhere like maybe some a galaxy, and that's. All it takes is a galaxy. Um, challenge 10. This one's going to be another complete joke. That's just, again, just one galaxy and it's all over. Um, challenge 2 is usually a little harder, but it is still going to be a complete joke. And now, here comes the tricky one. Challenge 9. So, I, I'm going to disable all my auto buyers here because... I still need to actually kind of think about channels nine. Um, I can just do one, two, three, four D. Um, four D. One, two, three, four, five. So just use the hotkeys to get all of these dimensions, and now just get enough for a galaxy. And it's it's gonna be over once I can get a galaxy. Not not quite there yet though unfortunately it's actually looking like well i don't think i'm really using an optimal strategy but it's actually no i i can do it i e139 um i just need e144 and i'm like almost there so that's what i did by buying the tick speed was very suboptimal but it is going to be a complete joke okay maybe not a complete joke yet but um let's let's see uh, actually i not really making it any anywhere i i really need to to focus i'm gonna get as many dimension boosts as i can to start off so now i'm up to eight and let's see i can't get any more so we, let, let's let's see what i can do i can probably um i don't know if I want to do the tick speed thing because that's really not optimal. I'm just going to buy first dimensions and then second dimensions and then third dimensions and then fourth. Just I, This is also suboptimal, but it's not quite as bad as what I did before. I can also dimensional sacrifice because that does nothing other than boost myself and well, I might need a second galaxy. I'm up to E... 200 antimatter which is fine it's not anything great but it's fine oh, it looks like i might have just um got another okay i'm gonna get another galaxy because i think what i just did is i made the eighth dimension thing or the cost go up another step i don't want to do that but I don't think, yeah, it didn't, didn't really look like it was possible to make it before. So I'm just going to get as many dimension boosts as I can. Because it may, it still actually seems like it's important to do that. Yeah, Challenge 9 is tough. It's like, even with all achievements, like the fact that it's actually posing a real challenge, like, like that, that's saying something. So now I'm just buying the dimensions. Just like before, um, get everything here. 
I know I'm supposed to do seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, but whatever. It's it's fine. There we go. Big crunch. So now we have all challenges completed. That definitely did take a few minutes. It'll take even longer if I don't wait for all achievements. Because these achievements are kind of overpowered. So okay, now what do we do? Inf now we can go back to infinity. We can get two of these multipliers. I can get this, 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 and also only while offline gain 50% of your best infinity points per minute without using max all. I think this is just a quality of life thing ported from mobile. So yeah, and then, then there's this. The infinity point multiplier becomes more expensive past E3 million infinity points. It cannot be purchased above E6 million infinity points. Okay, that's that's interesting. That does not happen in New Game Plus Plus Plus. Probably part of the reason why New Game Plus 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 is so overpowered. So now it's time to turn on the automation and get all of the smaller interval. We're not going to be able to get everything, but if I can just get, yeah, just get all of these. I don't know if I have, I don't know how, where I can get the bulk purchase. Maybe it's already automatic. Um, it seems like buys max is what I sh I could buy singles or max. I don't I don't know where my bulk purchase is, but it looks like ooh, the UI is cleaned up. That's interesting. I can buy the tick speed auto buyer to make my crunches even faster. I can do automatic dimension boosts for whatever reason. It's sixty nine. Um, let's just make it two because it doesn't even because it doesn't even reset anything and yeah so now we just need to break infinity and boom we can break infinity so yeah break so now we want to um we want to disable our big crunch auto buyer just like it's just like before and just get as many of these upgrades as i possibly can and then just push infinity points. I can just get as much itch as I can. Now I can unlock infinity dimensions, even though they're kind of useless at this point. Um, I kind of have to go back here to keep getting this, the infinity point multiplier, because that's really the only way I can really progress at this point, because infinity dimensions cost me E8 infinity points. So I need, I still need to, I still need to grind a little bit. I also want to get that sacrifice auto buyer because that's going to be going to be big. This is a pretty good upgrade because it's literally giving me based on achievements completed. I have a lot of achievements completed. Um, this it's since it's based on challenge times and I don't need to do it again. This just says a hundred milliseconds. It probably probably could actually be better, but unless it's like really slow, I'm not going to really care about that. So we're going to go back here. We're going to get, um, this is kind of useless. We're going to get as many of these as I can. So I can just get as much stuff as I can. Let's see. Can we, can we get, we can get eight galaxies. So this means, this hopefully means we can get infinity dimensions very soon. And you know what happens when we get infinity dimensions, we get infinity power. And when, when we get infinity power, everything just goes wild so here we go it's already e40 times multiplier it's because achievements are also the achievement bonus is actually also affecting infinity dimensions not just regular dimensions so it's just doing so many things causing infinity power to be even more overpowered than usual and now i can finally unlock by max of the Dimension boost auto buyer, auto buyer. So this means, um, so now it should just be buying max. So it's going to make the runs a lot faster. And like normally this part of the game is really slow, but you can see it is not slow at all. I'm, I'm struggling to keep up with the, with the game. Like it, it's crazy. This is before the galaxies are 50% stronger upgrade, which is supposed to be you know the op upgrade and speaking of that upgrade we can get it now so now it 
Now everything is going to start exploding. I didn't even get a second Affinity Dimension. I don't even need that to progress. That's how overpowered everything is. So, go back here, just max this. Unfortunately, there's no hockey. I'm really going to... I really want to get this automator. That's going to be so interesting. But for now, we will just be getting stuff like this. And we have E22 infinity points already. And it's just literally just me alternating between infinity dimensions and um, and the the whatever, the upgrade, the, the, the doublers. And of course, there's also this, which is going to affect things a lot as well. So E33 infinity points. Is that enough to get the last upgrade? That is enough to get the last upgrade. So now we can go back here, get this E40 infinity points. I don't even have any infinity challenges. That is how overpowered I am right now. Um, I can just actually just go between dimensions and in infinity i don't i don't even need to check out any other tabs i've unlocked two infinity challenges i don't even need them at this point because at least okay four and five are going to be tricky the others really shouldn't be tricky actually um let's go to challenges let's do infinity challenges let's let's start with the first one it's yeah it, it is it is a joke probably same with the second um it's probably just going to take a little bit because of the fact that I need to start back at Dear Galaxies and every res every galaxy is resetting my Dimension Boost, although it is not resetting my Antimatter. So we're almost there. There we, oh, there we go. And last but not least, Infinity Challenge 3, the infamous challenge that we, that we are locked in in New Game Minus Minus and all the other Minus mods. Yes, that is a thing. Complete the challenge. Um, so now I've actually unlocked Infinity Challenge 4, but I, I'm not going to do that until I actually need to do that, because Infinity Challenge 4 is a rough one. You can see E70 Infinity Points. I can just keep alternating between this and that, and just keep gaining orders of magnitude of Infinity Points every single reset like this this is crazy this is this is so fast it's it literally feels like episode 7 of new game plus 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 i mean it just feels fast but it's actually not going to be as it's going to be even faster later or we just haven't really felt that yet and actually it's it's starting to slow down we're only gaining maybe one or two orders of magnitude now each reset so maybe it's time to do the infinity the infamous infinity challenge for like it's just it's a really rough challenge i i don't want to do it but i guess i have to do that i'm gonna hold off this infinity challenge until next episode because i'm pretty sure all of next episode is just gonna be these infinity challenges so yeah Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.